need to decompress. I just spent $25 for parking. What? Tw look, look. Amber, it's Cleveland. You used to live here. You know that if you need to find a parking spot, just find a sketchy ass alleyway behind an old building-ish and then just park right there. I'm sorry, I forgot that I needed to feel like I'm about to die to park. <laughs> well, you know how it goes. I mean, that's what I still do. That's what I just did right now. All right, you know, here, I got something to tell you. Okay, all right. So, what's your news? I got the promotion. What? I got the promotion. Shut up. I got Amber, it. What? Yes. Oh my gosh. You've been waiting for this forever. Girl, you've been bitching about your bosses being awful to you for the last three months. And wow. I can finally stop. I know it was annoying you. Uh, no. Oh no, no, it was no. I no. You deserve that promotion. You absolutely deserve it. But what about you? I heard that you had a job offer. Yeah, I'm supposed to hear back this week. But I mean, yeah, it's it's, yes. it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be it. This is supposed to be it. It's all coming together soon. You are going to be coming with me to Seattle. I don't have to keep coming here and dealing with all of this. You're excited too, right? Yeah. You're finally leaving Cleveland. Yeah. I mean. The theater district here is growing. The music business here is growing. Cleveland is like one of the biggest film locations now because it's too expensive to film in LA. That's all I've been wanting to do to be an actress, a performer, a singer, everything. I just, that's all I've been passionate about. That's all I've been training for. That's all I've dreamed everyone about. Everyone who actually does make it, they get up and they leave. The only people who stay here, they live week by week. The only thing that anyone really cares about here is who's gonna be the quarterback of that stupid football team. Well, the Browns could win this year and Cleveland could get more money. They can win. You know who else won? The Indians went to the World Series. The Cavs won a championship in the same year, exact same year. 2016. The biggest revenue streams in the city did the greatest accomplishments that they could, and nothing has changed. And I don't know how you think you're going to change the city if they couldn't. And I'm just being real with you. But what if one day I eventually want to settle down, get married, have a family. You know how cheap it is to live here? You can retire here. You can come back after you've done what you wanted to do. There's nothing here for you to grow. You, you're not going to grow here. The day, the day that my parents dropped me off at Cleveland Hopkins Airport and I got on that plane with Cleveland shrinking behind me, was the happiest day of my life. I cried on that plane and I did not care who was watching. And I don't want to see you do this to yourself. You're going to stay here, nothing is going to happen, and then you're going to settle down, not having lived your dream. businesses in the city but don't actually live in the city and just sit in the suburbs and complain about the Democrats and the blacks ruining the city. Is it just really loud today? It's the home opening game. Stupid football team. <laughs> Want to do good things and help others and help the city. 
it's not like everyone is thinking backwards and retrograde and thinking with their own self-interest. Well, the weather could be crappy here, but at least it's not raining every other day in the wintertime in Seattle. At least I know it's going to rain and I can prepare for that. Do you know what the weather's gonna be like here an hour from now? It could rain here and there's not a single cloud in the sky. You already know that. And you know how inconsistent it is in the winter here. First it's 80 degrees, then there's a blizzard, then it's 60 degrees, then it's raining, then it's 90, and that's just January. Well, as we say in Cleveland, if you do not like the weather in Cleveland, then get the fuck out of Cleveland. Where the fuck did that come from? What is this attitude? You've become a West Coast elitist, standing on her high pedestal, not knowing what it's like working in real America. And aren't you being an elitist for assuming that this is real America? Where I come from, there is crime, there is homelessness, there is inequality there too. It's all America, it's all the same no matter where you go. So why the fuck do you want me to move to Seattle? Because we are talking about you. There is only one place where you can grow as a person. And it's not fucking here. Ultimately, it's going to be your decision. I can't make it for you. But you do need to let go of that savior complex and actually decide. If you had to save one, which would it be? The city? Or you? What's that? I didn't get it. I feel trapped here. Thank you. 